Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Mel Holistic. I'm Mel. Do you know that through a regular yoga practice, it can actually help you to lose weight as well as lose the excess body fat? The reason is because through a daily or regular practice, it actually helps to increase your metabolism rate, supports a more lean muscle, and at the same time, it also calms down your mind, giving you a healthier mental state, which helps your body in losing those excess weight, excess fats. So in fact, it is through yoga that is one of the reasons how I actually regained my pre-pregnancy figure and weight. In fact, I got even lighter than I was before I got pregnant. And that was true yoga practice as one of the activity I did. So if it is you who want to lose weight and lose those extra body fats around your body, you are at the right place. So this is one of the video of a series of videos that I will be doing to teach you and guide you through some very simple and easy to follow yoga practice that you can do it at home at your own time. So once you're ready, get onto the mat and remember to subscribe and hit the bell button so that whenever I upload a new video that helps you to lose weight or strengthen your body or in fact to help increase your flexibility, you will be notified and you can similarly practice at home at your own convenient time. So once you're ready, let's follow me and begin the class. Now let us start off the class with sun salutation to heat up the body and we can go into the sequence. So now come to the top of the mat with feet keep width distance apart, hands in front of the chest in prayer position. Now squeeze your glutes and lift up your knees and engage your quads. Now as you inhale, raise your hands up towards the ceiling. Slight back bend. And as you exhale, bend from your hips into forward fold. As you inhale, chest up. And exhale, bend deeper into forward fold. You can grab onto your ankles or anywhere of your legs. You now bend both of your knees, hands on the mat. Right foot, big step back into low lunge, right knee on the mat, right toes flat. Now remember to chest up, and if you find that your hands cannot touch the ground, feel free to use blocks for support at the lowest height, middle height, or the highest height. So during the whole class, remember to use blocks to assist you into the poses. So for now, let me put the blocks aside, and in low lunge, make sure your left knee is stacked above your left ankle. Alright, good. Now hands back onto the mat, right toes flex, right knee lifted, right foot step back into downward facing dog. Begin at your toes or your knees, lengthening your back, pelvis pointed up high towards the ceiling. Now if you have tight calves, you can Feel free to lift up your heels a little bit off the ground. If not, you can try to ground your heels. And any lower back pain, you can bend your knees slightly or lift your heels up. Continue to lengthen your back. Good. Now coming into plank, stacking your shoulders above your wrists, toes and heels, sorry, your heels are lifted off the ground. Just stay here, continue to engage your core muscles. Just stay here in plank. Now in plank, make sure that your hips are not too high, nor is it too low. It should be like an inclined plank of wood, therefore plank. Alright? Now knees on the mat first. We are coming to Ashtanga. So just imagine pushing your pelvis back up and as you bend your elbows, it must be close and beside your body and lift and we place our chin and chest on the mat as we come into this pose. Good. Now slide the body forward, come into cobra, squeezing your shoulders and your glutes together. Toes are pointed in cobra. Good. Now pushing your body back into downward facing dog. One more time, looking at your toes. Continue to engage your breath in and out. Taking a moment here. Good. Now rise a step forward in between your palms. Come into low lunge once more. This time round, left knee on the mat, left toes flat. 
right knee stacked directly above your right ankle. Again, use blocks for support if you need to. Alright. Or if you don't need to, good for you too. In low lunge. Remember, chest up. Don't hunch your back. Good. Now, left toes on the mat, left knee lifted. And step your left foot forward into forward fold. Good. Hands can be grabbing anywhere of your feet. Now, bending both knees, we're coming into chair pose. So sit your hips low. Knees do not cross over your toes. Just imagine you're sitting on a chair and just sink your hips low. So this time around, you need to engage your thigh muscles. Let it burn. Good. Inhale, chest up. Knee straight, slack back bend. Exhale, palms together in front of your heart center. So that's one round of sun salutation on the right side of the body. This time around, we are moving on to the left side. So once more, inhale, raise your hands up, slide back bend. Exhale, bending from your hips into forward fold. Inhale, chest up. Exhale, bend deeper. Good, now bending both knees, hands on the mat, left foot, big step back. This time round into low lunge. Good. And just stay in low lunge for a moment. Good. Now right foot, step back into downward facing dog. Again, your toes. Taking a moment here in downward facing dog. Continue to breathe in and out, lengthen your back. Okay, now coming to plank, placing your shoulders above your wrists. Stay strong. Engage your core. Squeeze your ab muscles together. Stay strong. All right, next knee, chest, chin on the mat, bending your elbows close and beside your body, pelvis up high towards the ceiling. Sliding your body forward into cobra once more, squeezing your shoulders. Squeezing your glutes, lengthen your legs, toes are flat and pointed. Yeah. Now pushing back into downward facing dog. Breathing in and out. In and out. Good. This time around, left foot step forward in between your palm. Right knee on the mat, right toes flat. Into low lunge once more. Continue to breathe in and out. Hands flat on the mat. Right knee straight. Right foot forward into forward fold. Stay a moment. Good. Now bending both knees, coming into chair pose once more. Sinking your hips low. Inhale, straighten your knees, slide back bend. Exhale, palms together in front of your heart center. Now let's try it once more. Inhale, straighten your hands up, slide back bend. Exhale, bending from the hips into forward fold. Inhale, chest up. Exhale, bend deeper. Both knees bent, palms onto the mat beside your feet, right foot big step back. This time round, coming into high lunge, right knee straight, left knee stack above your left ankle, stay strong, engage your left quad muscles. Good. Now flatten your right heel and toes turn 45 degrees out, left hand onto. The left thigh is coming into side angle pose. Now look up towards your right hand, towards the ceiling. Continue to breathe in and out. Good. Now try to straighten your left knee and see if you can place your left fingertips on the floor into triangle pose. Continue to look up towards the ceiling at your right fingertips. Now if 
For beginners, this is difficult for you. Left hand can grab onto your left shin so that you do not hunch around your back in this manner. Instead, you need to concentrate on shining your chest up high towards the ceiling. Good. And now bending your left knee back into side angle pose. Now coming back into high lunge first and both hands on the mat. Last foot, big step back into downward facing dog. Good. Now can you lift the right leg up, pointing your right toes into three-legged dog. Now we're coming to three-legged plank. So stack your shoulders above your wrist. Go back to three-legged dog. Now, as you come into three-legged plank, can you bend your right knee and place it outside of your right arm? Stay strong. Good. Back to three-legged dog. And right foot down. Very good. Good job if you manage to follow through to the stage. Coming into plank. Stay strong. Good. Knees, chest, chin on the mat. Coming into Cobra. Now this time round, straighten your arms, knees off the mat into outward facing dog. Now shoulders should not be close to your ear in this manner. It should be pushed away from your ears. Knees off the mat. And pushing back to downward facing dog. Very good. Good, now right foot step forward in between your palms. Left foot step forward in between your palms. Into forward fold. Breathing in and out. Good, bending both knees, coming into chair pose. Sink low. Inhale, chest up, knees straight, slide back bend. Exhale, palms together in front of your heart center. Now, we will switch to the left side this time round. Inhale, hands up, slide back bend. Exhale, bending from your hips into forward fold. Inhale, chest up. Exhale, bend deeper. Good, bending both knees, hands beside your feet. Left foot, big step back, coming into high lunge. Left knee straight, right knee bent 90-90 in high lunge. Good now, left heel on the mat, left toes turn 45 degrees out. Right hand can be on your right quads and look up towards your left fingertips towards the ceiling. Breathing in and out. Good. Now, can you straighten your right knee coming into triangle pose? Now, make sure that your back is not hunched and it's still open. Right, so showing you the back view. Good. Now, bending your right knee again, coming to side angle pose. And now, back to high lunge. So now, both hands on the mat, right foot, big step back to downward facing dog good now can you lift up the left leg pointing your left toes into three-legged dog now coming into three-legged plank stay strong back to three-legged dog this time around when we come into three-legged plank bending your left knee place your left knee outside of your left arm good and back to three-legged dog, left leg down. Come into plank. Stay for a moment. Knee, chest, chin on the mat. Next. And now slide the body forward into cobra. Make straightening both of your arms. Knees off the mat into upward facing dog. Shoulders away from your ears. 
Good. Push him back too. Down but facing dog. Very good. If you manage to follow me through to here. Continue to breathe in and out through both nostrils. And good. Now left foot step forward in between your palm. Right foot step forward in between your palm. Into forward fold. Bending both knees, coming into chair pose one more time. Inhale, straighten both knees like back bend. Exhale, palms together in front of your heart center. And we'll take a moment here to rest for a moment. Now you should feel that your heart rate is going so much higher now. So stay here for a moment. Separate your hands into mountain pose. Continue to breathe in and out. Tightening your quads, lifting your kneecaps, squeezing your glutes, shoulders away from your ears, spine upright, crown of the head high up towards the ceiling. In mountain pose, stay strong here. Good. Now, can you place both of your feet together as you inhale, come into tippy toes, raising your hands up, palms facing each other but without touching. Your biceps are close to your ears. Now you should be squeezing your quads, squeezing your glutes, engaging your abdominal muscles to stay strong in your tippy toes. As you exhale, lower your hands down, palms facing out this time round, slowly lowering your heels down. And rest for a moment here. Breathing in and out. In and out. And we're coming to end the short yoga sequence class that helps you to lose weight and body fats. Now palms together in front of your heart center. Gently bow to yourself. And Namaste. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed what I have shared with you today. I would really appreciate if you can give me a thumbs up like for this video. Give me your comments. What do you think? And please do subscribe to me because your subscription is important to me and that will also help support me to create more of such videos for you in future. You may also like to watch these videos next and then I'll see you in my next video.